music here. Bum, 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 bum. Action! Is this scary? We wanted to do a film that's very scary, but at the same time fun, you know, where you can laugh and get scared at the same time. It's fun to be scared. So we wanted this to be that type of approach, the fun of being afraid. You know, it should be a roller coaster ride with peaks and valleys and all kind of emotions. You know, there's some pathos in this, and I insisted on it. Well, here's a guy which is myself that I'm playing, who he doesn't really like to hurt anyone or offend anyone, but they find him to be strange and eccentric and weird. The older people do, the grown-ups, because they're kind of bigoted, you know? Back to the circus, you freak. And do yourself a favor, okay? Don't force us to get rough with you. But when they start to challenge me, they make me territorial, really and I start to challenge them back. And I do all of these wonderful things that is like magic, because I'm really trying to scare this mayor who is a creep. He's really a creep, and I don't like him. I, I'm so excited, I can't stand it. <laughs> Michael and I have been talking, having the audience see something they've never seen before. So this is why we needed you here now. This is what this is all about. You start thinking. Oh, Stanley. Don't start with me, Michael. I am your elder, okay? Show a little respect. You see these gray hairs here? <laughs> I've known Stan Winston since I was 16 years old. He did all of the effects for him. In case you didn't know, I'm the director. We're in trouble. <laughs> right, here we go, and action! I said to Stan, I don't want to do just another scary short film. I wanted to present something that's never been seen before. If it's an effect, then it should be something brand new. It should have a meaning. <laughs> I came up with this eye King Michael further than we've ever seen him. And I said, I want you to play all the parts. You're gonna dance like you've never danced before. You're gonna be virtually in every shot. You're gonna be getting up early in the morning for heavy makeup calls. You're gonna be dancing. It feels like a rock is behind it. Well, there could be it's just a bubble. I play myself, of course. Welcome to Ghost. Michael plays the part of the maestro, friendly ghost. Nice people, he scares a little bit for fun and nasty people, he scares uh, a little harder, which is what we're doing to the mayor. I play the skeleton. Michael, the maestro, reaches down, pulls his clothes off, and reveals this total skeleton. Our skeleton will dance as only Michael can dance. <laughs> I play that fat, grotesque, ridiculous mayor who, who, and I say it in that way because those kind of people, you know, who are just so stubborn, they just don't see the beauty of the inside of a person. Big, big face. He's Mr. Right Wing. He's Mr. Estate. Take me into a fat, 60-year-old, funky, 50-year-old, uh, mid, mid, I guess mayor. middle American. Now, how long does it take to put this whole complete makeup on? Uh, it takes about three hours. Three hours, but they're gonna do it in like an hour today. <laughs> joking, joking. Ghost goes inside of me, his spirit compels me to move in a certain fashion. Now that's different because when I move, 
I'm fighting against what's inside of me. For instance, I say to the townspeople, I'm okay, I'm the mayor. Everything's fine. Then I go, I'm fine. Then something starts to happen inside of me, and I'm like fighting the whole time. And then the rhythm gets, you know, and The bladder belly ready? These are all high inflation punching bag style balloons and 16 channels of pneumatic valves, each one plumbed through a central manifold and they're all supplied electronically with a signal from the button box which is what we run down your leg. And I'm looking in the mirror it takes on the psychological strangeness because seeing is sometimes believing. And when you look at this grotesque creature, you start to really believe that you're taking on the heart. You start to become the part. This is pretty ugly, diabolical, I would say. Who's weird now? Who's the freak now? Freaky boy. Freaky boy. And cut it. You Thank you guys for Thank another you. great day. Great day. Yep. Just seeing that different face, it's like an optical illusion. It plays a trick on your head. It's like, it's really weird. Even I look in the mirror at it and I go, God, this is so bizarre. Even though I like being the mayor. Pull on the side, it's like fat. Oh, God. I'd rather be the mayor than me. I mean, not his personality. Because I love being able to do things that I don't get to do. Like, I've been ridden with my mother in a car for like 10 years, and I rode in the front seat to the house. Nobody stared at me. I can't do that anywhere else. I got out of the car, and I walked around. Nobody blew their horn. You know, if I, if I do that now, it's like a trail of cars following you and people waving, hey, and, and nobody looked at me, and I loved it. I said, if only I could go to Disneyland like this and sit on a bench and just watch people and go on rides, it would be great. Pioneering, that's what excites me, a new idea. And if we could present something that's fresh and innovative, then that's what I want to do. I don't like repeating myself at all.